Aiden is 39 inches tall. He is four sevenths as tall as his brother. How tall is his brother? And we're told to round the answer to the nearest inch. Let's let the variable b equal the brother's height. Because Aiden's height is four sevenths the amount of his brother's height, and b represents the brother's height, Aiden's height is four sevenths of b, which is four sevenths times b, which gives us the equation four sevenths b must equal Aiden's height of 39 inches. And now we need to solve the equation for b to determine the brother's height. And since four sevenths b means four sevenths times b, we're probably thinking we should divide both sides of the equation by four sevenths, which is true. However, dividing by a fraction is equivalent to multiplying by the reciprocal. And therefore, instead of dividing both sides by four sevenths, we will multiply both sides of the equation by seven fourths. On the left side of the equation, seven fourths times four sevenths is equal to one because the fractions are reciprocals. Or multiplying, we have 28 eighths, which is equal to one. Or we can also show the simplifying. Notice how the numerators and denominators share a common factor of seven, as well as a common factor of four. Simplifying the common factor of seven, seven divided by seven simplifies to one in the numerator and denominator. Simplifying the common factor of four, four divided by four simplifies to one in the numerator and denominator as well. Notice now we just have one times b, which is b. On the right side, let's write 39 as a fraction with the denominator of one. There are no common factors other than one between the numerators and denominators, and therefore we multiply the numerators and denominators. Seven times 39 is equal to 273, and four times one is equal to four. And now because we're told to round to the nearest inch, we need to determine this quotient. And let's show this on the side. We begin by determining how many fours in 27, which is six. Six times four is 24. We subtract, the difference is three. Bring down the next digit. Determine how many fours in 33, which is eight. Eight times four is 32. We subtract. We have a remainder of one, but because we're told to round to the nearest inch, we need to go out to one decimal place so we place a decimal to the right of the dividend, move it up to the quotient, and now we can put a zero to the right of the decimal in the dividend and bring the digit down. And now we determine how many fours in 10, which is two. Two times four is eight. We subtract, the difference is two. But we can go ahead and stop here because now we can see, because there's a two in the tenths place value, we round down to 68. So the brother's height is approximately 68 inches. I hope you found this helpful.